Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about heat map using metrics. So if you want to analyze the sales data on hourly basis or if you want to analyze the sales data on daily basis, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, right? So if you want to analyze this kind of data, how will you do that? because you must be having sales data on the basis of date column so i'll just go to the date table so you will see this is my date right so now you have date you have time right so how will you analyze this right so i'll just go to the main table i have date i have time and i have sales in quantity so on this basis i want to do hourly basis analysis it is not possible as of now because I have time which is 11.38, then 12.16, 12.21, then how will you do this on hourly basis, right? So what we have to do is we have to make some rounded off so that 11.38 can become 12, 12.16 12 can become 12. So this is how we have to make some assumptions and come to that conclusion. Apart from this, we have to name each and every date as a weekday. So for example, 1st January can be Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever it is. And then similarly, all days will be defined as a particular day. On that basis, we have to see how my sales is going out, right? So this is my objective. So your manager has asked you to analyze when most number of orders have been received in a day. So what time is peak at which you are getting the maximum orders? which day and time are busiest for the restaurant. So this is my restaurant sales data, right? And if you want to analyze the complete data set, I have created one previous video on the Maven restaurant analysis. It is on the pizza. All right. So this is one of the snippet from there. As a restaurant manager, how will you optimize the seating capacity in the restaurant? So if you want to answer these questions, so you have to make this heat map. All right, so this is what we will make. So you can see, you can play with the data, right? Now I will go to the data. So this is my sales order date table. I have order ID, I have date on which it has been ordered, the time and the sales in quantity. So first of all, I will go to the editor, click on three dots. I will go to edit query. All right, so once I click on edit query, you will go to the power query editor. Here I can see these four columns, right? Now on the basis of time, I need to create a custom column. For that, I need to click on add column, click on custom column. All right, so now we will do step by step. Now we have to create custom time. So I'll just create one column, customer underscore time, right? This can be number dot from right and then I have to select this column which is time in the square brackets time square brackets closed all right and then bracket closed let's see what it happens if I click OK all right we have some number now what I have to do is going back to this step I have to multiply this by certain number because we have to make it hourly basis or half an hourly basis so let's say in one hour we have 60 minutes right so i have to multiply this by 60 in every day there are 24 hours right so i have to multiply by 24 right so now i have number of minutes in a day so 24 hours into 60 so this is my number of minutes in a day I have to divide this by the interval. For example, if you want to have interval of 30 minutes, so I'll divide it by 30, right? So bracket closed. Now let's see what happens after I click OK. Right now, again, this data is not making sense. But when I add one more step over here, now I want to round off this. So what I'll do is I'll just select number dot round it's a function right then bracket open and here bracket closed and then I have to divide this by the number that I have given here so divide by this so what it does is what I have already applied I have to divide this again by this so that my 
numbers will make sense out of it all right so i'll just click okay right now i need to change the data type i'll click on this go to time this is my time all right now you can see here for 11:38 the system has provided 11:30 for 11:57 it has provided 12 for 12:12 12, 12, it has provided 12 for 12:16 it has provided 12:30 so it has rounded off to the nearest number which is in 30 minutes uh, interval all right so now if i want to make it of an interval of 1 hour so what i can do is i'll i'll go to this settings again instead of 30 30 minutes i'll just write 60 all right and click okay and coming to the last step now you can see my custom time if i click here you can see 11 a.m 12 13 14 15 everything is there on early basis all right perfect so this is what we wanted now i just want one more thing i want weekdays and weekends so what i'll do is for the for the first i'll make this as a duplicate column right now i want to change the this date i'll right click i'll click on transform go to day this is what we want name of day right so for first of january second of Jan january whatever day it was it will show me thursday friday saturday monday right so once i click you will see here all my days are popped up friday monday saturday sunday thursday tuesday wednesday all of them right i can change the header name it is name of week right so now i have the custom time i have name of week so i am sorted what i'll do is i'll go to home click on close and apply all right so just focus on this sales orders table this is my table sales orders right i'll go here to dashboard click on new page click on visual metrics right and then from fields take sales orders from here i have to take custom time in rows i have to take name of week in columns and then sales in quantity in values so now if you see now you have custom time 10 a.m 11 a.m 12 13 14 15 till 23 which is 11 p.m and in the right side in the column headers you can see friday monday saturday sunday thursday tuesday wednesday all of them are coming now one more thing is pending now we want some conditional formatting over here on the basis of number of quantities sold so what i'll do is for this visual i will go to values sum of sales click on this down arrow and then click on conditional formatting background color right so let's say for the time sake uh, minimum can be light yellow and highest can be dark red maybe right and click ok so this will automatically give me this if I do it in focus mode you will, this will give me when it is highly peaked so these are the highest selling times when uh, orders are really huge right it is in thousands sometimes it is in three four so this is very low traffic light yellow is low traffic dark red is high heavily trafficked all right so this is how we can create one more thing we want in this so currently you can see in my column headers friday monday saturday sunday these are not aligned properly the way it should be as a week so after monday it should be tuesday then wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday not like this so how we can do this how we can sort this out so for this one of the solution is going back to the editor query all right for each and every name of week what i can do is i can define a number for example for monday i can define one for tuesday i can define two and so and so forth for sunday it will be seven so there would be seven numbers for each and every name of the week and then once i create that column then i can sort this particular column name of week on the basis of that number and if i can sort that then definitely i can get the desired result so for that let's add another column conditional column this time 
right i can create this as custom underscore number let's say All right column name would be name of week add clause name of week so first name let's say it is monday for monday it would be output as 1 right for tuesday let's say it is 2 add clause name of week is let's say now wednesday it should be 3 then name of week let's say it is thursday it will be 4 for name of week is equal to friday it will be 5 for name of week as saturday it will be 6 else apart from this whenever it is there then let's make it 7 click okay now there is a custom number for each and every name of week as you can see over here so now my job is done let's close and apply now you will see there is there will be added column over here as custom number right what i have to do is for this name of week i have to sort by column from custom number right let's see how it is happening right now you can see it is not sorted right friday monday saturday sunday thursday tuesday wednesday now let's go to data click on name of week then click on sort by column then if i click on custom underscore number right so now this particular column has been sorted if i click here it is already selected custom underscore number right so now this column has been sorted on the basis of custom underscore number if i go back to the report you will see it has been sorted monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday now it looks neat we have this custom time also in sorted order and this day of the week also in sorted order i can change the name of this this can be time and week or let's say day all right perfect so this is how we create this so you can see this is my heat map that i have created otherwise this there is a background here that i have added otherwise there is nothing special about it otherwise this is how it will work all right guys so i hope this video was helpful for you if you want similar kind of concepts if you want to learn more on microsoft power bi how it operates uh, how to work on data visualization various data analytics projects then do let me know subscribe to this channel i'll keep on uploading such content for you all thank you guys